let's navigate to administration, semantics, and governance, global security policies. This is the wizard which we can use to create new global security policies. To create a new security policy, ensure you enable the global security policy. Choose the new option from the global security policies menu. Once you have clicked on it, a new window pop-up will appear and enter the required details for the policy creation. In the name section, enter the name of the new policy. Let's enter mask underscore data as the name of this policy. Next, we can provide any description for the global security policy. This is an optional field. The enabled option indicates if the global security policy will be used on execution. Using this option, you can disable the policies as well. Audience indicates to who the global security policy applies to. The options are all, any role in list, all roles in list, roles not in list, any local user in the list, local user not in the list. We are going to choose any local user in the list and add the user denoto underscore user. This means this policy will be applied only to the user named denoto underscore user. In the attributes of the user session, if the restrictions you want to define depend on the values of some session attributes, you can include the conditions here. We can click on this drop down to see what attributes are available. Apply the policy to the audience that satisfies any of these conditions. It applies to every user when her current session satisfies at least one of the specified attribute conditions. Apply the policy to the audience that satisfies all these conditions. It applies to every user when her current session satisfies all the specified attribute conditions. Apply the policy to the audience that fails to meet all these conditions. It applies to every user when her current session does not satisfy any of the specified attribute conditions. We are not going to apply any condition based on attributes. Let's select this policy does not depend on attributes of the user session. The elements option indicates to what elements the global security policy applies. Note that elements are referenced using tags, not individually. We have some options to which we can apply the policy. We will choose views tagged with any. Now click on add tags and select confidential and click OK. This policy will be applied to the views with the tag confidential. Next we can add this restriction applied only to certain databases. For that let's choose apply only to the views of the databases on the list and add the database select denoto underscore training and click OK. Next, this is the applied restriction when the global security policy is triggered. There are several restrictions you can apply, such as denoto execution based on certain conditions, mass certain columns based on certain conditions, only show rows that fulfill the conditions, and so on. Here we are going to choose mass columns tagged with any of these tags and add the tag confidential. Leave the conditions empty for the restrictions to be applied for all rows. Basically, this will mask the columns that we have assigned to the tag confidential. For masking the data, you can either use a set of built-in masking expressions such as hide, show first four characters, redact with asterisk, set to zero, and so on, or use your own custom expressions. You can define different masking expressions for different types of data. Denoto allows you to configure default masking expressions which will be applied to all types of data. By default, the masking expression is hide which returns null. You can also configure masking expressions for columns of text, data type, number, or date time types. For text masking, we are going to choose redact with asterisks that returns a fixed number of asterisks. For number masking, let's choose set to zero. You can leave the default value for date slash time masking. If the column contains date or time value, it will return null. Finally, let's click on OK to save the policy. Great, now we have our first security policy with associated tag assigned. 